Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick update video since I haven't really talked about anything that's been going on recently. Um, so this is a new way that I'm going to try to raise the baby um, axolotls. As you can see, this is just like a shoebox storage tub. I've got some, um, I think these are arrowhead leaves, and those have their roots growing in here. There's a dead moth, I'll get that out of there soon. You can just see the roots have grown into this tub, and there's some decayed catapa leaves. It's really hard to see it, but let me see if I can get the light on this better. As you can see, there's like blood worms everywhere in here, and there are some smaller organisms that are just flying around as well. in that moss ball. So I put my newly hatched baby axolotls in here and I'm hoping that this is a more efficient way to raise them. I'm just trying it out. Hopefully they'll eat some of the small bugs. I've seen them like jumping at stuff that's just too small for me to see. Uh, I don't know if they'll do it for us on camera here but I can tell that they're eating. I just can't see what they're eating because it's too small. Hopefully they'll just be easier to raise in here because all these plants and moss balls are cleaning the water and then I'm doing some small water changes every day so this will just be a more natural setup see if it works and I didn't originally intend for this to happen it's just I had all these plants in this tank that the bla uh, black worms they just like got into the moss ball and I couldn't get them out I just kind of put the moss ball in a container and then I realized after putting in some catapa leaves that the worms were actually like reproducing and doing pretty well even though I hadn't water changed it in a while because I just didn't know what to do with the moss ball that had all these worms in it. So now it's just kind of become this own little uh, tub ecosystem thing where I'm raising uh, blood worms or black worms I should say. 